All right, so check this out. I put up this slat wall in this corner of my, my studio here. I wanted to do some kind of a, a design-y thing. So my thought is to do some planters. Uh, so specifically, I wanna do strawberries that go through this whole slat wall. And then the water will be down here. Whoa, wrong way. Will be down here. So this is a little bit smaller than I was expecting it to be, uh, but there's a little water pump down here uh, and that will go up. Now, this was the first iteration that I did. Uh, so I've got these little uh, hooks that go into the slat wall and they there's like a little hook thing in here. So this little back piece just slides up in. This worked okay, but it's a bit bigger. Like I did a wide backing to it and it doesn't really need that. Uh, I also originally only had a two inch cup hole here and I decided I wanted to go bigger with that. So I ended up with this design. It's a little bit more streamlined and it's a much larger cup. Now for strawberries, uh, the strawberry roots, they don't tend to uh, go out like you would think like if you think of like tree roots you think I'm going all the way down through the ground Strawberries are a little different. They tend to clump the roots all together in one big ball and then they will vine out to spread So for this I kept it a, a very big space for it and because the Because the strawberries will clump like that uh, They also tend to as the water pours down in the water will kind of get trapped and it will start to overflow a little bit. And so I left this little ridge at the bottom so that then it can flow back down into it if there is a little bit of excess. All right, now I haven't even tried running this yet, but in theory, the idea is that water will get pumped up and come down through and will come through here, which will then empty out down into this tube down through and in. So with any luck, this will work. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. It fills it up way too fast. <laughs> so I'm gonna need bigger holes in the bottom in order to let it drain out faster into the tops. <laughs> so these uh, half inch holes are not gonna work. Or I need a smaller water pump. All right, so it's been a few days now and I've gotten a little bit of stuff done. First off, first off, to account for the overflow in the cups, I've ended up designing a reservoir. So this basically just takes the water going in here, right through here, through the tube, and then it dumps it out the bottom. And it's just gonna be gravity fed, so it just kind of sticks up here, just like that, and then feeds down into the cups. I also made one extra addition. So in here, uh, the tops I originally had just kind of like setting on top here, just setting on top of it, and that wasn't quite working well enough. So I've added these screws. Now these are the bolts that I'm talking about, and I've just attached it so then when I'm attaching everything here that it doesn't fall off like it doesn't separate so the water is coming down right however i've got one small issue here if you look closely you'll see the water starts to come down out of these tubes the water is starting to come down because it's not a watertight seal on, on the bottom so it is working so far Everything's going well, other than I need to tighten up the... All right, so this was the change that I made, was I made this a significantly wider base, so then I can put this O-ring around it. That way, when I'm screwing this in, that O-ring is gonna tighten up and squish against it, and the idea being that it creates a watertight seal on that spot of it then. So I just got down to the last print of these. 
And now I'm thinking I might want to completely redo this. Let me show you. So this is what I was originally thinking was that I would do these tubes in between them, bring them down. Now I'm thinking I want to just connect them together like this. Technically it'll work the way it is. Uh, the bottoms here should funnel down into the next one. I might do a little screw that helps to direct it. But that's not at all what I originally intended. <laughs> it is definitely a lot more space saving. I can do five in one spot rather than four in a full extra length there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I wish I would have designed it like that from the start, but that's what Mark II is for, right? So I have four of these going right now. These will eventually start branching off. And the whole thing is completely self-automated. So I can turn the water on just with an IoT switch and the water will start pumping from the reservoir down here all the way up to this container, which is acting more as a buffer. The water will then run down all the way through into the tubing down below, which will then get dumped in here. Look at that tiny, tiny drip leak. Now eventually these will completely take over this whole side and then migrate over to this side as well. So I'll have a full 20 plants of strawberries going all at one time. Now to ensure that these plants get proper light to grow, I've added a spider farmer light up top that will push down basically sunlight directly onto these guys. This has the added benefit that as I'm walking into the room, it kind of looks like a sunlight pouring down into the room. It was important for me to put it up here so that then as I'm walking into the room, it makes it very difficult to actually look directly at the light because it can be painful because it's so bright while still keeping an angle down at the plants. Now down at the bottom here, I 3D printed a screw that will uh, latch the tubing onto it. The initial uh, prototype here, it did work for screwing it in. However, in order to prevent it from leaking, I had to use these rubber uh, O-rings that just kind of go on top of here and then these get screwed in. However, this was getting printed in this orientation and because of that, the layer lines were having a problem holding and because of that immense amount of pressure where it's trying to create that tight seal, it would eventually just kind of break. So for these ones, I ended up printing them on a 45 degree so that then the uh, layer lines weren't as big of a deal and it wouldn't separate on here. Now, an issue I was starting to have was the clay pebbles. If there were some small ones that fell through the cup, they would fall into this hole and then block the, the drainage. So I ended up creating this little uh, kind of a blocker onto the screw itself. So then when that goes up in, any small ones or any roots that start together, it'll at least let it, most of the water still fall through without completely clogging it up and causing an overspill. So that's the whole system. It will take quite a few months for the strawberry plants to fully propagate over, but I, we're already starting to get some little uh, strawberry buds starting to come in and we'll let those uh, start moving their way through. If you're interested in technologically growing plants, uh, check out the microgreens video that I did. There's another system that I'm working on for that, uh, which you can actually see in the corner over here. Uh, so yeah, until next time.